Hello and welcome to a new episode of Novus in Setsio. Today I want to get uh, figuring out these uh, this forge mainly and maybe we can get into one of the other stations as well. Kitchen would be definitely nice. Sewing station we already have. Carpentry station I don't think. But yeah, first of all these this forge so we have already the ingot and uh, the log but we need an anvil a hammer a campfire and a bucket and um, yeah let's get close to this fire because we need that for this anvil so craft and now we are heavily overweight but let's just pull that down there let's get back to the previous recipe and see what else do we need a hammer let's see what oops a hammer i always confuse autofill with previous recipe or the other way around we need a head so uh, uh, this buck is also kind of annoying autofill Craft, previous recipe, autofill, craft, let's get back here, let's check, okay, we need the bucket, bucket, unable to switch to recipe because ingredients requires a specific facility for production, but which one, that would be something that uh, is very would be very nice to be added to this game to know which production which uh, facility you actually need for the production okay as it seems you need a, a carpentry station to actually get uh, the bucket because carpentry <laughs> seems to mean uh, something other. What do I miss? Oh, I saw. Um, I thought carpentry means making carpets, but carpentry obviously means crafting tools like buckets. So uh, let's see. What do we need here? A handle. Okay, we should have now all the stuff we need. Let's get that thing going then. And where did it go? Didn't fail, did it? Let's check. Oh, no, there it is. Let's place it. Mm, maybe here because I can't move anywhere else when I at the moment because uh, yeah I'm overweight again that happens from time to time so let's check this one here parts no raw no lights, small static torch. Oh, we can make torches now that are always on. Containers, storage, chairs, bench, beds, tables, props, and there it is, the bucket. We have now enough nails. Let's craft a bucket and we should probably craft another one because for the kitchen we also need a bucket. Alright, and now uh, let's check maybe also decoration is the last decoration flower pot with plant. Eh, not too interesting. <laughs> so let's get back in here, let's grab this and we can finally make this. There it is. And let's just put it there. And what can we 
Ooh, let's set the fire. And let's check what can we craft in here. We can do uh, the tools, the improving kits for the tools. We can make a sword and the shield. We can smelt way, way, way more stuff than we could before. And we can do the usual stuff that we can do with uh, this thing here as well. So we can just destroy this now. Which is probably an abomination because you are in survival. How can you? How? How can you even start destroying stuff? Did we actually destroy it? Maybe it's just... No, we actually destroyed it. Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> So, should we now get into the kitchen? The kitchen might be something worth uh, testing as well. So we need mortar, sand raw and clay raw. This, ah, this tooltip, so, so annoying. <sighs> All right, autofill. We need still the bucket. We have a bucket. We should have a bucket. We don't have a bucket. Oh, wow, that thing is huge. Let's put it there. And uh, this now gives us what? So we can cook more and smelt the usual stuff so it didn't actually do too much for us to make that i think but we have it now uh, so we should get maybe into getting better swords so we can uh maybe you remember from one of the previous episodes uh, we um found a huge tower uh, made out of bricks and to enter that you need a sword so oh no i don't want to uh, i want to craft in here so let's look have a look what do we need for the sword we need twine uh, i don't know if we actually have that i don't think so we have one blade but we don't have twine so let's craft one twine, let's craft a handle, and we need, shouldn't we make that blade out of iron, maybe, or some other metal? Craft to all right can we now make a sword this is actually stone let's craft another blade all right now we can actually make ourselves a sword nice and this thing here can go so now we should be able to actually uh, enter one of these nice little dungeons and uh, yeah i should maybe walk around a bit and try to find one you remember these mountains that are surrounding the area where we live from the last episode so we can't really get up there by walking but i found that we have this climbing ability <laughs> and that actually lets us get up here to uh, some degree we may have to stop from time to time because this drains our um 
our stamina quite a lot. So let's see how long we can continue if we can get up here. So close, I can already see the edge. But let's not rush it. Let's renew our energies once more. And then start the last descent. The last steps. They might be small steps for mankind, but they are huge steps for me. And we are on top. We made it. We can proudly say that we reached the top of this mountain in the darkest of nights. Let's walk a little bit around here. Mm -hmm. It seems there is something over there. But to be honest, I don't see too much and I don't want to walk around here. So I will be waiting. Ooh, we just turned 70. Look at that. Yeah, I will be wait now until it is daytime again and then I will meet you right back. Oh yeah, the sun is rising. Nothing like viewing the sun rise from the top of a mountain. Ooh, look at that. The tree and the sun are forming quite the nice uh, visual effect. Huh. Very cool. So where could we go now? Everywhere. Well, mainly just over there. So let's check that one out. I found another new anomaly. A desert. Last time we were in an ice desert. This time we are in a sand desert. Ah. Well, let's see if we can find something interesting. What is that? A dragon? Wow, <laughs> that looks really cool, but can we get something here? Because I didn't find anything except bones so far and now we got teleported out. So that was the end of the... okay. Not too interesting then. Sad, sad. So I just checked uh, this tower. And turns out there isn't really something other than in the uh, tower where we spawned. So it's quite the waste of time to scale this mountain. Um, you can just stay in the valley where you spawn and get everything done there. You should get all the different anomalies and dungeons and stuff. Anyways, because uh, when you move away from a point, it's getting generated again uh, or newly generated and that way you will find everything in a rather uh, small uh, area around your base. So, we just died and now we are a ghost. I was kind of far out already on my way back to our base and then I just went down and got the message to look for a cloning station in any one of these towers Ooh, and look at that oh there is uh, we were looking for that all the time well good thing we get revived now and then it's hopefully still here and here we are and create a clone takes a little time but there we are again and we have 102 health points I don't remember if that is actually the health we had before or if we have now a little bit more. 
And uh, to be honest, I don't really get what this aging thing is use is, is useful for. Um, uh, no, I just wanted to go in there. Oh man, this sucks. This is really depressing. <sighs> All right. Um, but yeah, I actually already recorded a little bit of me rambling about what I think of this game because yeah, I think I will end uh, this series now. Uh, I enjoyed this game, uh, really. It made a lot of fun. I like this world they generated. Uh, but I also want to get on and get other games uh, played and um, this, the, the rest we could do here, like build fancier houses or uh, build this monument up where we, uh, of which we uh, put on the crafting uh, thing, the blueprint. We've put that down in one of the last episodes. But yeah, it's just a grind. You have to find all these um, artifacts, no, not the artifacts, uh, the anomalies and get in there and you have to uh, have the chance that it is the correct one and uh, that you get the things you actually need. And uh, yeah, it's just too much, I think, too much grind and too boring to actually get something done. So uh, it would either be I have to grind for a long, long time and uh, gather the resources to get a little bit of progress done in the episode or get a larger amount of progress done rather. Or I'll get you guys with me on the tour, gathering all the stuff and then we would just together see every time the same things and uh, yeah, nothing new would happen in the end. There's nothing, nothing exciting really uh, because the combat system isn't really um, there yet. It's not uh, that good introduced and uh, also yeah, just running around isn't too interesting as you can see here. So that led me all to the decision to end this series. I'm already kind of rambling a lot again. <laughs> Sorry for that, but uh, yeah, I wanted to explain my thought process there and um, also I want to tell what I think of this game, obviously. I mean, we started this as kind of a first look thing and I planned it to be just one episode and then it turned out to be seven now in total. And we... Uh, or I at least had a lot of fun and um, I think this game has a lot of potential especially with these anomalies but uh, there needs to be um, you need to find these different resources in more than just one anomaly it's too much grind to find the anomalies and then go there and uh, gather the resources and getting lucky really and uh, that's not not my cup of tea uh, but the anomaly system itself I really like uh, and um, what else the combat system I mentioned already is not that great yet I need to definitely work on that and um, also the building uh, 
building mode. It is different. I didn't see something like that before, although I got a comment that this seems to be similar to the forest game. And um, yeah, I think it's a nice building system, but uh, also not as easy as I'd like it to be uh, in the in using it. You have to really figure out a lot how to do it and when you actually go to building the building you planned out um, yeah that is also not as easy because sometimes you the the cursor doesn't uh, recognize what you are actually pointing at and stuff like that makes this game even more grindy Yeah, uh, I also, as I mentioned uh, a moment ago, don't understand this whole generations thing. Um, where is really the sense? I guess it's just a realism thing. And uh, they didn't want to put in a whole marriage system and stuff like that, so you had to kind of produce children uh, to get on playing um, so they just came up with this cloning stuff uh, and I mean it's it's okay it's a feature of the game it's unique really I think uh, I don't know if there is another game out there that uses such a system and um, yeah, so I don't mind it. I don't understand it, but I don't mind it. It's as a feature of the game, it's okay. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, the damage system also not working really at the moment, but we are in alpha after all. It's uh, really. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff they have to uh, just figure out and that's what the alpha versions are for to find these uh, things and um, have a lot of people in early access play the game and uh, so they can find out what needs fixing and uh, the health system definitely needs some fixing and uh, it would also be nice if you would find something new after climbing these mountains or after traveling a long long way you know it's all just this one kind of similar forest or then you have a beach and that's it and uh, in between you have these anomalies uh, which give a little bit of um, new stuff but n yeah the <laughs> they are just all not so so it's not really really a lot of change that you see uh, I mean once you found the five or six anomalies that are there you have always the same thing you see and um, yeah in some anomalies as we saw there isn't really a lot to find uh, like the uh, the the plane where the plane was uh, that's uh, kind of like an ice desert and there was nothing there except one or two boxes and that's not really something that motivates me to go on and yeah so uh, all in all I think this game is on a good way but it needs a lot of work to be honest I wouldn't say to someone who would ask me um, 
Would, should I buy the game? It costs around 15 or 20 euros. Is it worth it, that money? And I, to be honest, I really had to say, no, this game isn't worth 20 euros at the moment. Maybe in one year time, when they had a lot of time to work on this game, it will be okay and will be worth 20 euros, but at the moment, no, no. Keep your fingers, uh, uh, get your fingers on some other game that is uh, along further on the path. So, um, yeah. I have to say now bye bye. Uh, thank you for following this series. And sorry for rambling on now for quite some time. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the series after all. And I hope you stay around for other series that will be coming. Next one uh, will probably be Kerbal Space Program, unless uh, you uh, choose differently in the questionnaire that I will, in the poll, that I will put down in the comment section. Uh, there is a link to the straw poll. There are games like uh, Bastion and Kerbal Space Program, which is at, in the lead at the moment, quite clearly. Prey, which um, I can tell you now, is already going to be a series on this channel, but not on the Wednesday spot. And uh, another game I have on there as well, but I don't remember right now. So yeah, check that straw poll out, leave your vote. And I hope to see you in one of the other series on this channel. Thank you once again for watching and uh, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button and uh, so you don't miss anything on this channel, hit that sub button. And I hope to see you in one of the next episodes. Until then, I wish you a super great time and say bye bye.